Well, hello everybody. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular, and I have some silver to show you right here in my hot little hand. Uh, they are from DisneyCoins.com. Make sure you listen correctly. It's not Disney. Nobody wants to buy from that company. I know. I know. Before you start writing comments, DisneyCoins.com. I'm probably saying it wrong. It's probably actually pronounced dime, but it's the old-fashioned way of saying dime, uh, or spelling dime, I should say, is D-I-S-M-E coins.com. DisneyCoins.com. Uh, I'll have a link down in the description, too, if you want to go ahead and grab some things that they have, which is Trump and patriotic related silver rounds uh really really cool pieces that they uh put out there and they are definitely a friend of my channel um if you um, use the discount code that i'm going to provide down in the description they said they're going to increase the amount of discount we can get for these pieces for my viewers only so go ahead and get that cheaper discount if you would like it does not benefit me at all to use that discount code so don't be like oh i'm just going to give spectacular some free money nope doesn't give me anything, helps you all. So if you like saving money and you like these rounds right here, go ahead and get yourself some discount. Uh, going to that website, DisneyCoins.com, is as easy as riding a bike. Um, unless your name is Joe Biden, <laughs> who can't seem to ride a bike. Poor guy, uh, he fell down riding a bike. I do feel really, really bad for him. Uh, totally, totally bad. But listen, we're going to go on to the rounds right now. So some new ones that I got right here for my collection. If you've been paying attention to the channel, you know I have a huge collection of these. I'm trying to get uh, most, if not all of them. Doing my best. There's a lot out there. They're just continuously coming out with really cool designs. So here we go. The first one right here I got is Donald J. Trump, Save America. Guy holding a little Make America Great Again sign right there. And I tell you what, man, please, please do something. Somebody do something to this country because... Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, it's it's wacky tobacco out there, is it not? Every single day it seems like something weirder and weirder is going on. And I don't know how much I can take it uh, anymore as far as the high prices of everything. The inflation just has me at my wits end, I tell you what. So uh, DisneyCoins.com, uh, they started doing this limited uh, mintage thing on all their rounds. So it's not like you're getting rounds that are just, you know, mass produced by the millions or, uh, you know, tens of thousands. Uh, each one now is going to be 4,500 and they are actually numbered somewhere on the edge of the coin there. So this is, what is that? 51? Uh, looks, looks to me, if my eyes are correct, 0051. So a uh, pretty low number right there. Hopefully you can get yourself a nice low number. But even so, I mean, 4,500 max, it's going to be a low number just about all the time, isn't it? Uh, pretty cool to get some, you know, unique things. And then they do retire their pieces after some time, too. So uh, they actually started on their website a, a list of retired pieces. So those are a little bit more valuable. And I've seen people resell these things, um, you know, maybe not the brand new ones, but resell like some of the older ones, the retired ones the ones you know you can't get anymore and tell you what they go for a pretty penny well over what they paid for them um am i saying that's going to happen all the time you know maybe not maybe it is who knows but uh sometimes in my experience of noticing you can get some nice pieces and you can actually make some money on them if you want to sell them down the line or keep them because they're cool I i'm just going to keep mine so here's another one freedom convoy uh this right here happened over there and uh tried to go to uh Canada, man, they put the old kibosh on that, didn't they? The uh, Canadian government, man, bunch of uh, bunch of dictators over there. If you ask me, if uh, if I'm allowed to have an opinion, which I don't know anymore, if people that uh, think with my right-sided type of mind are allowed to even have opinions anymore. Look how dry my hands are. Ooh, man, I apologize for that. It looks that looks awful, doesn't it, on camera? Wow, well, I gotta get some lotion. You know what that's from? That's from gripping all kinds of weight. Ooh, man. That, that, no, it doesn't look good. All right, pretend like you didn't see that. Pretend like you didn't look at that. Anyways, Freedom Convoy. Um, hey, those truckers, though, that, that really were sticking to their guns, I got to definitely, definitely throw them a, uh, a round of applause there. They did uh, they did what every, you know, red-blooded human being should do, and that's stand up for what they believe in. Uh, so there you go. That's the Freedom Convoy piece. What number was that? Hold on. Let's. I don't want to be a completionist here. What number is that one? 24 number 24 that's pretty low too wow that's really nice uh finish the wall donald j trump yeah man that wall right there we need to go ahead and you know get that reinforced get that thing uh, uh guarded more and more but instead of uh 
this current uh, government, current administration trying to reduce the um, amount of protection we have at our border. In my opinion, uh, some really weird things happened. We, we just had a, uh, what was it, a, uh, a vehicle that had like 50 dead immigrants that came over inside of it. 50, 40, 40 or 50. It was something crazy, man. It's just, that's tragic. That does not need to happen. That does not need to happen. Uh, sad times, sad times. And it's, again, it's just in the news, man. It's hard to watch because it's like every single day, something worse and worse and worse and worse. Uh, Trump won the audit 2020. I like that one a lot. That's probably going to be, let me look at it. Let me do a little double take here. That's probably going to be my favorite of these newer designs. This is pretty nice too, the Save America. But the Trump one is super duper nice. Super de duper de duper de. Uh, which one did I not look at the edge real quick? Hold on, this is the wall. Let me see what number that one is. Um, is that 250 or 350? I'm thinking 350. Capsule's kind of getting in the way with a little dink in the capsule. I'm thinking 350 right there, though. Uh, next, and it was Trump 1, right? Let's check, check out that number right there. That is, is it this way? 5... Uh, 66 or 565 or 556 hard to say but either way uh <laughs> pretty nice pretty nice and i like that it looks nice luster to it fantastic anybody out there watch that um 2000 mules um i'll tell you what man that was an interesting video interesting video um is there some questions that i have about it absolutely and if you didn't watch it what it suggests is based on uh um, them using uh, geo mapping, which is basically these apps that whenever you have a phone or some kind of smart device that you're walking around with, these apps are tracking you at all times. And all that data is collected. And when that data is collected, people can actually buy it. It's weird. Yeah, it's so weird. So they collect this data. Um, the, this group bought that data and then used that data to find that um, people were actually going to multiple, sometimes dozens of ballot boxes at like three, two, you know, four o'clock in the morning. Um, and then they had taken some videotapes of people dropping tons of ballots off inside these ballot boxes. Sometimes they would drop 10 off, sometimes they would drop five, and then they would go to another box and drop off more. Really, really unusual. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, that's, I mean, here's, Here's the only argument that I can have with that, right, with that video, is that there's no way to prove, and this is what they were saying all along, and now I understand it even better, no way to prove that those ballots were going to Biden. Now, Biden did win, according to, you know, the results, but there's no way to prove that those were not uh, Trump ballots, um, you know, or ba uh, Biden ballots, or somebody else, right? There's no way to truly prove that, and the problem is, is um, once those ballots go into that mailbox, right? Let's say this right here is the mailbox and you put the, the ballot into that mailbox in that sealed envelope with that unique person's name on there. Uh, once you take that envelope out, throw it away, um, or take that envelope off rather and throw it away and the inside is the ballot, the inside ballot part has no names, no identifiers, no nothing like that. It just has who they voted for. So once that outer packaging gets thrown away, there's no evidence. It's really the perfect crime. So um, whether or not, in my opinion, whether or not it was votes for Biden or Trump. Now, again, Biden won. So you want to assume that they were for Biden. Uh, but regardless, there needs to be some checks and balances way more than there already are. Um, and I think that both sides should be able to agree. Both uh, left and right sides should be able to agree that, you know, the voting process is is one thing that we have as people of the United States, you know, one thing that we hold dear. And we need to make sure that our vote counts and only our votes as, you know, people that are, you know, registered voters are getting tallied, not some other, you know, scammers out there trying to manipulate and make certain people win or certain people do better than others. That's not right. Um, both sides should be able to totally agree on that. So that was interesting. You should definitely watch that little documentary. Um, if not, if anything else, just to kind of learn about that geo mapping where apps are taking our information. Uh, my smartphone that I'm using right now for this video, it's, you know, collecting data on me at this very, very moment. And as you move around, let's say you take it in your car and you drive around, 
it's tracking exactly where you're going and getting data and learning about you. And uh, it's kind of scary, kind of scary. Um, so very interesting though, very interesting pieces from DisneyCoins.com. I got off on a little tangent right there, but they are pretty cool. Um, I definitely enjoyed this guy right here way better than this current administration, which seems to be just can, just a wrecking ball. I mean, it's like Miley Cyrus is in there uh, in the office right now just with her wrecking ball just going nuts and just trashing everything. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Anyways, um, again, make sure you have it the right way. DismeCoins.com. Use that discount code. I'm going to have that discount code down in the description of the video. They said that while they can, they're going to go ahead and offer you an increased discount using that discount code while they're able to so get it while it's hot get it while it's available and check out these cool rounds right here um, really enjoy them disney coins appreciate you for uh really you know being a supporter of the channel by offering that discount code for my viewers uh greatly appreciate that and uh hey listen let's do this again sometime what do you think you want to spectacular for now though is out well hello everybody I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular.